talking poly but it could be any other so you're gonna start out getting a, a steady glide established um, adjust CG and incidents to make it look about right and you want a left turn you want it to just kind of hold in without too much bank and then pick a spot out 10 degrees below the horizon and start throwing it a little harder and keep looking for it to come out and rise up a little bit off on the left and enter the glide and then once you have worked that up to full power then you're going to start putting it on the catapult and do the same thing and the, the thing is that there's the temptation that okay i've got it trimmed about right so now i'm going to start launching it you want to go to full stretch doing that and the thing is you're trimming it to yourself so nobody else can take your glider and do the same thing because their arms are a different length but once you have that thing to where you can pull it all the way back and it will go out straight and start to peel up and swing off to the left now you're ready to go to full power and find some more tall grass as if you hadn't already and now you're gonna lean that thing over and do not do partial power you pull all the way back from the start or you're screwed because if you don't pull all the way back you're gonna crash and oh he can talk too this is informal um, so at that point now you're gonna start tuning because you want the airplane to come up and swing around and you want it to drop in that glide and you don't want it to spiral in because with those first flights you don't have enough of the flight to really know what the long-term dynamics are you know what static stability looks like but not dynamic so you're looking to get it to peel out to the right and you may need some extra wash in or some less rudder to get it to come around it just depends you know look at look at what it's doing so if it's stalling straight in the glide then you know you probably are gonna have to get rid of some wash in because it's not cranking around to the left. You could even add a little bit of weight to the left tip in that case. Um, Lynn Sturdies does that with, with great success and who could argue with his success? Uh, yeah, I um, his model. Right, but if, if you see the airplane goes up and it stops and stalls, falls back, or in any way stalls up there, you need more incidents. If the airplane comes up and comes around and dips at all, you need less incidence. So on a poly, less incidence is tighten the screw to raise that trailing edge. More incidence is loosen it to pull it down. And you have to make sure that string is pulled down tight so it's not wandering. Um, and really that's all there is to it from there. Any stalling in the glide that is not associated with it stalling straight ahead, you just add nose weight. If it looks like it's a little nose heavy in the glide where it's flying okay but it's just kind of sinky take some nose weight out and that's that's what i do and it'll be on the internet for you to reference yeah. so <laughs>